things are coming along in the studio as I find ways to sort and make new homes for things and kind of put things in what I would call a clean, crisp manner. Um, I will say uh, some of the baskets that I bought and brought in earlier in the week I like the look, but as far as the function, I'm trying to figure out what would be good for me um, suiting wise because like I have baskets up high and all the way down. And then also it has taken away some of my, what I call sit around space of things that I would like to be able to see out in my studio, whether it be a stuffed animal that I had from childhood. Or a bell that was my mother's that inspires me and I like to keep it out and about or a clock that I brought home from my granddaddy's. And so my space like that is kind of limited by the way that I have taken some buckets out of here and then brought different ones in to put on the shelf to make a more clean, crisp look. And, I, and I'm liking the look, but as far as um, having the place to set stuff out, I'm kind of torn between the two of like, do I want to find a way to create something? Do I want to stack some of my little things back up um, to be able to put on my table over here to be able to do that? But then I kind of looked at that the other day and it started being kind of cluttered again. Again, so I was like, yeah, let's just back up. Let's finish filling our baskets up. And then as far as they set around, I'll take a look at that later. It may come down to the fact of me cleaning out the closet over there. Which is technically my art closet. Um, I haven't gone through it in a while and I kind of need to do that. And that could potentially be a place where I allow sit around stuff and, you know, can be able to look in there and be inspired by the things that I still have, kind of collector items, so to speak, for my liking. Hey, as you've seen today, I've been kind of going through the things that I took out of my studio the other day and then I placed out on the air hockey table. And what I was doing was kind of sorting through and making two piles. The um, things that I left on the air hockey table were things that I truly want to bring back into the studio and find a home for them. And then the things that I carried out further in to the room are things that I will find a home somewhere else for that I no longer want to use or need in my studio any longer.
And I've spent a lot of years getting a lot of love in my head with it. I do uh, women's ministry also. There's been seasons in my life where that's been... And, of course, always here in the studio, the way I'm getting things sorted out is to my liking for what I have to work with. There are things, um, you know, the wall color. You've heard me talk about the wall color in here forever. I would love to have the wall color a different color. Um, I wish some of my spread on the back wall was different, but that's just part of it. Uh, you know, when you're an artist, you're all the time... evolving, you know, creating, and some things get taken down because they're sold or, you know, or what have you, and then you're left with what you only have, and to be able to put that up, it might not always be to our liking the way things are spread out. I did come up with this little setup to be able to put set some of my things out, hopefully. Uh, for right now, I feel good about it because I really had liked having all those baskets over there looking like that. I had thought about taking um, the top basket off, the top one up here, and lining this, this stuff up here, and I did try it, but... I didn't like it. It kind of broke up those baskets, and I really like the basket look. So, for now, that's what I'm going to go with. My stack out here has dwindled down. That is a rug I still got to put in my attic that's still out from Christmas. And these are buckets that I did have in the studio. There's a few little journals right back there. The rest of that stuff back there has nothing to do with my art studio. So far, this is what we're working with. I've only um, had about two hours in here today, an hour before lunch, and about an hour, a little over an hour 
after lunch. Tomorrow, I hope to tackle this little section. I'm going to, that, that down there is a bunch of junk that come out of a little um, dresser thing that used to be in here. And I have piled all that up sometime last year. And then that's my extra canvases. I did have some on that windowsill and I pulled them out. Um, I'm hoping, I've got the windowsill lifted up. I'm hoping to put some smaller canvas that I have in the back back there over in the windowsill and kind of get this in order. Um, I don't really care to have all that out. I wish I had some type of shelving or something to go over there, but I don't have anything at this point. So I'm just going to work with what I got. Before I head out of the studio today, I want to share with you, you probably saw some footage from where I had been to the doctor's office and I kind of wanted to fill you in what that was about. I have to go once a year to be checked and screened and blood work for my melanoma. If you are not familiar with my story of melanoma, I have a video, a couple videos back. I will try to link that for you if you're interested in watching it. And then also the same doctor, has me labeled and characterized as high risk breast cancer. And so while I'm there, it's kind of like they tag the two appointments together and I do breast screening um, and I do that two times a year. And so for both the melanoma and the breast screening, everything came out great. So I was very excited to get a good report.